Christmas is around the corner. You may have seen my Christmas gift ideas and giveaway video. I hope you had a chance to grab some of them for your friends and family, or even for yourself. If not, here's the link to it. But today, today, I'm going to take you to Olympus Wonderland. Here I want to show you some of my crazy fanboy collection. Some of them you can still buy, and some of them you can't get at all, thanks for the perks of being an Olympus ambassador. Welcome, my name is Jimmy Chang, an official Olympus fanboy and professional photographer and filmmaker. This channel is about, well, Olympus and Michael Four Thirds, but I also want to share my experience and knowledge from my 15 years of being a pro with an aim to help you become a better photographer, together with text and gadget reviews to help you get the shots that you want better and quicker. So smash that subscribe button and put on the bell notification so you don't miss any content from me. By the way, I can't show you everything because it will have taken me too long to film this video. So I picked up some of my favorites. And before I start, have you ever bought any Olympus merchandise or collected any articles or rare Olympus items, including cameras and lenses? You can tell me all about it in the comment section down below. Now, it's time. Buckle up and let's do this. This has got to be my favorite, the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II. If you haven't seen my videos about this camera, I have a few links in the description. I also briefly talked about it in my last Olympus slow cooker video. If you haven't seen it, the link is up here. In brief, the EM1 Mark II will always have a special place in my heart. It is a very special camera. It's the camera that changed me in a good way. It made me realize that there were other capable systems out there. It's hard to imagine though, being a full-time pro means that I don't have time to look at cameras a lot, not in ways that amateur or enthusiasts do. I choose a camera, work with it, and I don't normally look at cameras again until it's time to replace them, either due to age or, yeah, which is the end of life. So I always stuck with Canon full frame, which seems like forever now. But of course, this video isn't about my switching or trying to convince you to switch to Micro Four Thirds. But I want to say that it was the camera, it was the Mark II that finally laid the bridge and let me cross to another place, a place that I now call home in photography. Of course, those who know Olympus will appreciate my choice here. This silver E1 Mark II was not a general release. It was done as a limited run of only 2,000 units worldwide. So, as a camera that changed so many things in my photography career, with a ultra limited edition cool silver jacket, hell yes. Sure, this lens isn't ultra rare, but rare enough to command a pretty premium to buy in the used market. It is a beast of a lens to handle and to shoot. Frankly, I only use this lens when I need that slightly brighter aperture in extreme low light areas. My 40 to 150 2.8 Pro is generally my go-to if I need that flexibility in range. However, the 35 to 100 f2 is a genuine cool portrait lens. I must say that its rendering is out of this world. Sharpness. Well, I don't blame you if you don't know any of the Pro 4 3rd lenses from Olympus DSLR era. This guy is not only tough, but once again, a lens that showcases Olympus optical design. Build quality? Well, this lens is built like a bazooka. Well, talking about rare thing, the Olympus Penef is slowly becoming a rare camera. Just a few months ago, I saw plenty of them on the used market. And now, some of the bigger used camera stores already ran out. One of the most populated places where you can still find good condition Penef is, yeah, Evil Bay. The Penef is an icon, a camera that demonstrates what you can achieve in camera body design. Even today, I still puzzle how they put it together without any screws. <laughs> a true genius. Okay, this is a perk that was given to me when I visited Olympus UK headquarters last year. It was an eye-opening experience to see their other disciplines working, especially the medical side. After their sales this year, 
I know that I may not have another chance to see what I saw. So I'm ever so grateful for such opportunity. So this 100th year coffee tumbler is a reminder for that. Not only an iconic piece that celebrates Olympus Corporation's centennial anniversary, it has sentimental value that, yeah, only I will remember. Released together with the silver E1 Mark II, this special and now ultra rare limited edition Billingham Hadley Pro is a treat to any photographers who love traditional canvas camera bags, especially for Olympus fans like myself. This bag wasn't even for sale. The only way you can get this bag was to buy the E1 Mark II in 2019 in the UK. No one knows the exact number Billingham made these bags, so I assume they will be in the low hundreds. So this is truly one of the rarest Olympus items I've owned. Another ultra rare Olympus crossover is this, the RBDC camera bag by Blue de Chouf, the premium French leather maker. Just to show you how special this bag was, not only is handmade, it's limited number once again to celebrate the release of Olympus Panef in Europe. Blue de Chouf had never made their camera bag before. This collaboration is truly the first, and certainly not the last because despite this limited edition only in production for a couple of years and ended in 2018, at time of filming this video, according to Blue the Shoes website, they are planning to re-release this bag as a journal release, just without all the Olympus N pen branding on the bag. And that makes this very bag here even more desirable if you're an Olympus fan and collector. My last limited edition collaboration bag in my collection, the Cozy Speed Streetomatic. It comes in two flavors, black or slate gray. Both are nice, but I chose the black version here as I can see the Olympus branding and colors better. Cozy Speed is a camera bag and accessory company from Germany, but if you don't know them, I suggest you check out their website. Their unique waist belt system is quite cool for street and travel photographers, especially for those one lens setup. Due to the size of Streetomatic, they are perfect for small mirrorless system like the Olympus. This is exactly why Olympus chose to collaborate with them. I use this for my Panef, like the one here, when I have a day out street shooting. Well, this is exclusive to UK. Sorry for those who live elsewhere. But here we have a whole bunch of stuff, from cabs and buff that you see me wearing all the time to thermal flasks pins and t-shirts, even lens cloth. So they are just cool if you think your camera isn't enough, the strap didn't spell Olympus or OMD large enough, and these are things you can add to strengthen your loyalty towards the brand. This, to most discerning Panef users, the 100% teak decorative kit includes a horseshoe cover and a soft release, has to be the must-have if you want to make your lovely Panef stand out. I love mine and they look great on my black pen F. If you look closer, the famous F logo is engraved onto the soft release itself. Just tasteful. A little reminder from Lee Russell, a friend of this channel, that it's best to use a mild lock type to prevent the soft release becoming loose. Cheers, buddy. I bet most of you didn't know about this or even heard about this story. This little guy here was one of the first premium grade Olympus Micro Four Third lenses. Released all the way back in 2011, sounds like a century ago already. This guy here is single-handedly raised the bar for ultra compact and ultra high quality built little Micro Four Third lenses. Back then, 99% of all Micro Four Third lenses were plastic fantastic. Not many considered doing anything serious with this platform. And this 12mm was that lens that brought all the right attention to Olympus but more importantly, to Micro Four Thirds as a platform. Strangely, up until August 2014, all Olympus Premium lenses were silver, not a single black lens. Apart from this limited black edition, which was released as an experiment for a limited run, 3,000 units to be precise, to taste the water in September 2012. Internally, this limited black edition is no different to the standard silver lens, but it did come as a kit that included a few exclusive things that weren't available to buy at the time, including this 
very sexy square hood, a 46 mm protection filter, a separate metal lens cap that you can't use with the hood. And of course, this, this special lens with the word limited black engraved onto the lens barrel. Was the experiment successful? Well, need I say more? Now, all premium lenses have both silver and black versions, apart from the pro lenses, which are all black anyway. This original limited black kit actually sold out in a couple of months within the UK. So if you see one in the used market, remember to have your wallet ready. And that's it folks, thanks for watching. And I did say I have a lot more Olympus stuff in my possession. And I have a lot of lovely Olympus pins, which some of you can buy. I'm gonna include the links in the description so you can get them as well. I hope this video didn't get your other half angry. But anyway, you know what to do now. Thumb if you like this video and sub if you want to support this channel and me. Peace.